Okay, the final factoring ones. These are the hardest ones. Okay, now this is where you've got a coefficient, you know, number in front of the x squared. The previous ones we just did x squared plus 5x plus some, okay? So it just had a nice single x squared, and we said, remember, what's two numbers that multiply make the last number that when you add make the middle number, okay? So that doesn't work for this. I can't say for this one right here. I can't say what's two numbers that make three when I multiply, that make five when I add. Apart from that, it won't work because the two in front of the x squared is kind of messed all that up, okay? So you can't do that. So one way of doing this is really is just to try to guess. Okay, it's called trial and error, and this is how it works. So again, I'm going to go for two parentheses, because that's how we work these. Now then, okay, so it's not an x squared where there's an x and an x at the start of both. It's a 2x squared. So really, what's the only way to get 2x squared? 2 is a prime number. It's only going to be 2 and 1, so 2x and 1x. But I know you need to write the 1, okay? 2x times 1x is 2x squared. There we go. 2x in one, x in the other. Okay? Right. So, uh, I need to get 3 at the end. Forget about the 5x in the middle. Hopefully we'll get to that. So I need to get a 3 at the end. Now, 3 again is only 1 times 3, or 3 times 1. And I'm actually going to put 3 in the first and 1 in the second. Now, it's all pluses, so I put all pluses. The reason why I chose that was I can see in my head, if I do a quick foil or a quick oi, just the outer and the inner, that if I, so here we go, here it is, look at this, 2x times 1 is 2x, and 3 times x is 3x, and that's where the 5x comes in, 3x and 2x is 5x, because if I'd have put the um, 1 here and the 3 here in the wrong ones, I'd have got 2 ti 2x times 3 is 6x, one, I'd have got 7x. Just change that 1 and 3 around and see you're going to get 7x in the middle, which is not right. But again, if you're not too sure and you do that, you realise, oh, I need to get to 5x, that must be wrong. Just swap them, you'll probably get it right the second time round. So that is the answer. 2x plus 3x plus 1. Right, okay, so just look at that, I've got to erase that. All right. So, get this up, the eraser. Now, let's just have a look at the ones that's actually here. So, again, I can see that this one, I don't think it's that bad myself, again, because I can see prime numbers at the start and the end. In other words, the only way to get 7x squared is 7x and 1x, all right? I don't need the 1, but there you go. 7 times 1 and x times x, 7x squared. The only way to get 2 at the end is 1 times 2, again, I'm not going to put the 2 here and the 1 here because straight away I can see that makes 14x. That's way too big to start. So I know straight away from, I know it's in the wrong place. Uh, you guys might make a mistake the first time round. Just swap them over if you do. So again, the 2 is going to go in here. The 1 is going in here. Now, problems here, this one, it's a negative 2 at the end. So 1's got to be plus and 1's got to be minus. So sometimes it's not just where do the numbers go, but where do the signs go as well, and that can cause a bit of confusion. But I need to get to negative 5x. I want more negatives. So again, I look at this and I go, right, I'm going to put the negative there, the positive there. So when I do the oi bit, see, there's negative 7x. There's positive 2x. That gives me the negative 5x. Okay, so that there is the answer. Okay, um, what else do we have down here? Okay, I'll do 28. Okay, I've got to do 28. Uh, because occasionally, of course, with prime numbers, it's nice. There's only way to make 7, there's only way to get a 2. But how about other numbers? All right, so let's have a look at this one here. Now then, 10x squared minus 19x plus 6. Well, I'm going to start because, I, you know, 10 could be 10 times 1, could be 5 times 2. I'm going to choose 5 and 2. Again, I don't know. I'm just, I'd rather have that. I think to me that's more obvious to start with. Okay, there you go. That is 10x squared. 5x and 2x, 10x squared. 6 at the end. Now, uh, 3 and 2 could be 6 and 1. But now look at this. Okay, so it's 3 and 2. Suppose I put 3 there and 2 there. Now, I know without doing the foil that, that is wrong, and the reason is, look at this here. A 2x with a 2. Well, surely in that parenthesis, a 2 can factor out. They've both got 2s in it. If you look at the original question, 
A two can't come out of that, so if a two can't come out of the question, a two can't come out now. I can't put the two there, I'm going to swap the three and the two round. A lot of talk explanation, but I would have just not done it that way because I can see that. If you can't, put it in, do the foil, if it's wrong, swap them over. So that's where I know the two is going to go, that's where I know the three is going to go, okay? That's if it's three and two, what if it is six and one, right? Anyway, okay, so that's so far, 5x and 2x, 10x squared. 2 and 3 make 6 when you multiply. Do I get negative 19x? Now, here's again more logic. A 6 at the end, it can come from 2 times 3, but it can come from negative 2 times negative 3. Remember, 2 negatives make a positive. You can get that as well. And here's the clue. The fact that it is negative 19x I'm aiming to get means both of these are negatives. Negative times negative is a positive. And that's that option because if you look, 5x times negative 3, negative 15x, negative 2 times 2x, negative 4x, there's your negative 9x when you combine them. Okay, so, you know, it, that's why they call it trial and error, folks. It's just maybe have a go, um, foil it, if you don't get it right, swap them over. But, you know, once you get used to doing it, it comes a bit of logic going, ah, okay, it's that. And otherwise you're spending quite a while going, oops, swap them, swap them. Still not working, and some people still say, I still can't get it to work. And I look by and I go, I go, have you tried those two numbers? And they go, oh no, I didn't. Anyway, okay, so it's just what two numbers work, okay?